Very early not walking on the spot. Just an, as always, great example of the clean and crisp looking art style that I do so adore in this one. Also though, this little segment just serving as an example of how a story arc is dealt with in a sports anime such as this one, where I'd imagine it's much more difficult to perform well than, say, in an isekai story. These kinds of unique angles also work great, so much better than a top-down view consistently, just gives a different vibe and feel even in moments such as these. Recently I've been praising multiple conversations taking part in the same scene. It's harder for us non-Japanese speakers to follow, but in general it's more realistic and I'd forgotten it was represented here too. Just a reminder that I don't take recommendations. In order to pick what I cover, you must be a $4 or higher patron on my Patreon. It's linked in every description if you'd like to check it out. I only say this because I get at least 10 comments every single day requesting stuff. It never ceases to amaze me how formidable opponents are built in this anime, but they always do a fantastic job of setting them up and building on them, like with nicknames and stuff. And similarly to what I mentioned during win number 161, this is a perfect showcasing of how the anime deals with character growth in the story. Again, another aspect I'd imagine which is more difficult to do than in an isekai or a shonen, etc. They should do manage to do comedy well in Haikyuu too. <laughs> very slight but very nice all the same art style change! <laughs> Such a weirdly nice touch to have them move out of the way from blocking the door after a student had to squeeze on through, just requiring extra animation and of course, DEDICATION! <laughs> His friend keeping him on track, given what happened to him last time and not wanting to see him potentially falling into despair once more. It's also a funny scene, of course, and great voice acting. He's brilliant in this. Little moments like these are great for character building and also oozing a vibe that relaxes me or makes me feel positive. It's like slice of life moments that I just enjoy whilst at the same time having the characters grow on me. Hmm. Having her appear like a dude just makes it even more funny. It shows good writing here. He's a character that issues mostly orders and such to the team, but knowing that he at first greatly resisted joining the team as a coach, and now at episode 14 is working hard all day and still dedicating his time to the team into the evenings, just builds him as a character too. I guess what I'm saying like twice before now, things can be more difficult I'd imagine for a sports anime, but they do it just about perfectly in my mind. Still very much kawaii! Character building in the sports anime done right! Still nice to see these two as friends, I must admit. Always warms my heart after their rocky start. Oh! 
清子さんいい仕事するっす多分まだ終わってないがが頑張れはい。<笑> Brand new OP where we start with some CGI which genuinely looks so good and it could be hand drawn. Like that looked amazing. It's also got a nice song that really smacks when it hits the moment where they're playing on the court and the animation on display is just outstanding looking. A great second OP. Multiple characters moving within the same scene like it's no big deal. <laughs> He always wants to get aggressive. Goodness me! This made me laugh harder than most dedicated comedy anime do. I mean, who even thought that stuff up for a lovely character like him? Oh my word, that was something else, I swear! <laughs> How is it even possible that the start of this episode is so funny? It's not fair! It's not a comedy! The fact that they addressed that! During moments like this, I just catch myself smiling away. It's very positive, these kinds of hard-working attitudes on display in anime. Always striving to be the best you can be. I've always clicked with that work ethic, I think. Scenery shots are naturally so rare they can have another win for this one. They might not be on the same level as Jobless Reincarnation, nor should they be given the difference in genre, but they still take the time and effort to make them look as good as possible. There's no corners cut here, you know? Man oh man, the writing is just so damn good. From Hinata learning a way by which to deal with his nerves that sets him at ease, and it's a pretty decent method I might use myself in fairness, to then annoy him misspeaking and potentially making matters worse and making me chuckle. Also, it's a small thing, but take one here for them not being mental geniuses or anything. Like, some people sadly do experience nerves more than others. My wife, for example, almost never gets nervous at literally anything. I, on the other hand, get nervous at pretty much anything, but put up a decent front until it passes. But these being essentially young adults won't realise they're being unhelpful, as had been the case during the first half with everyone making Hina to worse. But at least they're learning, as shown in this scene. Like I said, it's a small thing, but it just does click with me. Oh. These two not only being hilarious in general, but also showing how they're both nervous in their own ways too. Even though I wind him in the first half for being voiced by Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter, I think now, months later, and having recently finished Jobless Reincarnation, that it's entirely valid to issue a win for him also voicing Rougeard, stupidly great voice actor. Might seem like an odd thing to win, but the fact that it legit sounds like a crowd is worthy of a win. Like in some anime or video games, it's very clear that it was a group of like five people trying to emulate 20 or something. This happens a lot in video games. Never understood why they don't fill the room with extras for a yell, but hey ho, props here. <laughs> The first score of the second half! 
ナイス様がほらいい出だしうそいなごい<笑>年留年してんだってよマジそれいいのいつまってんじゃねえ ?50% of the win is definitely for him breaking through with his first score of the Also, can never get enough of the awesome animation from this anime in general, but especially during his jump and then their reactions tacked on. <laughs> Symbolic ending looking like he's in flight as the feather falls to the ground. Very simple ED, nice visuals, just a casual art style change at the start and end I enjoyed, and just an all around nice and calming song to end the episode. It's standard and worth that win. その代わりか、荒削りだが、普通の速攻が使えるようになってる。下手くそながら、コースの打ち分けまでしよる。いろんなことが力任せだった危ういチームに、知恵がついた。Using comments such as these by which to nicely almost build the anime its own power structure by pointing out the flaws in their game using outsiders familiar with all teams. It's a clever way of setting up a bit of a shonen type vibe, who's on top kind of feel without it being My Hero Academia if you catch my drift. <laughs> The music really doesn't get enough credit in this one. It just beautifully sits behind the powerful emotions and voices on display and backs up the average moments too, making them funny or casual or impactful. You're probably not going to listen to the entire official soundtrack regularly, but it's definitely appreciated by me for how it improves the anime across the board with everything it tries and indeed succeeds in doing. <laughs> His caring on full display, what makes him such a great team leader now a few years later, and just amazing character building too, which is used excellently to justify spurring his former teammate on in this current match. Using her and the girls' team to also aid in his character growth during the second half, the things he says and how he impacts others, just like I mentioned in the last win. They use slow motion to such excellent effect. Just another means by which to introduce entertainment, add tension, or any number of other things. Only this anime could make me feel sorry for the other team that has nothing to do with the main story at large. Having them be humans with flaws, worries, hopes, and dreams. Such a strange feeling that is. Wholesome! I said what I said about the music, and then this happens, and it's just plain old gorgeous in all honesty. Stupid moment gets me emotional over something so small. He lost his dream here, but wants his old friend to go on and achieve his. Backed up by that music, that's just an outstanding scene.
then this realistic aspect rarely ever covered. The losing side and how hard they have it. Out of the temporary shine of the light from the protagonists. This just felt incredibly poetic and impactful to me. So good man, then you give us this longing and meaningful look at a Hinata, clearly seeing his former self being forced to walk away from the game after losing, grateful to still be able to play. I swear, with thoughtful imagery like this, it's no wonder why the anime is as loved as it is. Oh, so random. Gripping his head like he's yummy doing it to Aster in Black Clover. You know something else that also deserves a win for being on display so very often? It's just how much they actually care about one another. Trying to reduce their nerves before a match. Trying to spare their feelings if needed. Trying to help one another. It's all happening all the time and it's wonderful to me. <laughs> And then this moment just links perfectly into the previous win. I couldn't have timed that any better as his words greatly impressed and encouraged his team, giving them much needed confidence. Between the visuals, his words and the music, it sets up his own character arc in an outstanding fashion. I guess overall they just nail character building, really. In general, once again, just have one win during the second half for all of their voice actors. No one was weak, they all fit amazingly well and belted out their lines. He scored, and the animation was smooth as warm butter on a sunny summer's day in a street in Dubai! This is what I'm talking about when it comes to casually making us love the characters as they support and comfort one another! Wholesome! Not sure if I wind it during the first half or not, but take one in general for mixing hand-drawn animation with CGI. When you notice it, it's happening constantly during matches, and they're synced up perfectly, essentially. I adore these attacks! It's so stupidly great! This clever way of forwarding the match so you can move the game forwards while still making the viewer feel like they're there for the whole thing. Ah, that's such a great way of doing it! Interrupting their thought process by immediately smashing a quick home! I can't get bored of that, it's so good! <laughs> Gotta love how they went for simplicity rather than an over the top anime reaction. Just add it to the comedy for me. Man oh man that voice acting, even hearing his voice break a little doing it, and that awesome impactful and furious looking animation style.
Yeah, they can have two wins for this. Excellently set up, changing his view of their defense as they fall back to the ground and the court opens up before his eyes. So well done and well deserving of Max wins. Oh, Hinata finally being able to realize this after all of this time, now having felt it for the first time, and it's likely also brought about by his growth as being part of a real team. So he's super happy to see others happy due to something he did on the court for them. Never gets old! Get out of here! My boy Levi setting up this moment and making this old dad proud! <laughs> This anime builds tension so well, like the beating music in the background and their comments letting us know how close the end is and of course their reactions. It's legitimately thrilling for me to watch even though I've already seen it. It's like I'm still nervous. And then just like here, it's so close it's nerve wracking even though I know what's going to happen. Help me! Absolutely this! Oh my god, I totally forgot about that happening! This moment is only made more epic by what very much sounds like a sound effect from My Hero when All Might charges up his plus ultra at the end of season 1 against Nomu. Damn good, what a moment that was! So filled with emotion and tension and willing him to score for himself. Absolutely brilliantly animated too, and it's getting a maximum two wins. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Just a great moment with a callback to something I mentioned before, about rising up and dusting yourself off when you lose. To raise a culture of coming back again and again to be better than before in this incredibly wholesome scene, only made greater by the lovely backing music. Obviously can't show the whole thing, but they nicely go over his newfound confidence having scored against them, how that came to be, and it's all just done in such a lovely way as always. Just naturally forms a smile on my face, really. Wholesome sauce poured all over this scene as the anime continues to now develop other characters with these. That's actually a really clever way of putting it, in all honesty. ありがとうございました。あ、いや。よし。それじゃあ、やるか。何を<笑> 
meeting this I was going to include that with the previous two and have three in one win, but that was good enough to get a win on its own. Such a lovable character with his attitude towards things. He also works ridiculously well opposite Kageyama. <laughs> this episode is throwing out some serious comedic bangers. Always a fan of doing animated montages. With that badass voice acting and their battling, it legit sounds incredible right here. What a team atmosphere it builds! It's dumb, but some of the chanting actually even gets me pumped up. It sounds great! Plot twist! It's things like this that represent just how much there really is that goes into any sport. There's always more than meets the eye, and it's always kind of evolving over the years too. Such a fantastic moment! I couldn't even remember that happening either! Brilliant, and take another max two wins for that. It just deserves it! He's so random. I love that dude. The sheer volume of frames in a scene where he serves beggars belief. It's so smooth! It is insane to me how moments like these are used to such great effect when it comes to building tension. It adds an entirely different layer when playing against these and the later even more powerful teams. This little dose of realism where they're discussing something that happened a few minutes ago now a few minutes later during a timeout whilst having a chat. I love stuff like that! It's awesome to me how moments like this are used to build a story within the game. I know I've mentioned it before, but to my mind, that must take serious skill to build characters and a story within a game itself blows my mind, to be honest. And then this moment opening up another avenue of the game and games in general that people wouldn't give much thought to. That being when you keep failing and it starts to wear you down. Your boy has experienced that with badminton. You lose too many on the bounce, it really shatters your steam. And that's represented here alongside so many other facets of the game and sports in general really impressively. <laughs> That bit of animation was stunning, how they moved all three of them within the same frame like that. Such a weird feeling to feel so happy for him during moments like this. shot right there, not just for its appearance, but for what it represents to him in that moment. <gasps> it's a small thing, but it's also such a big deal. How do they manage to make that a jaw-dropping moment? Maybe by excellently rising the tension, or maybe by the way the character growth is handled? I don't know. Probably both. Oh, it's so good! It's so random, I adore it! Uh, 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 
次向こうのレシーブがきれいにセッターに帰ったら多分センターのクイックが来る Something so oddly wholesome about him as a character, how he lifts up the team, offers advice even when his position was given away to a better setter, and now he gets to come on with his own tricks. Just makes me smile. This anime makes me smile in general, to be honest. <laughs> They did the thing! I literally remember that they lost this first game, but did that stop me from clenching every muscle in my body in anticipation of that final shot? No, absolutely not, because this is a bloody great anime! I was in the back, now I'm in the back. It's a lot of fun. I'm in the back when I'm in the back. お前が入ってる時の合わせてカラスノの得点だ俺は俺なりのベストなんだお前はお前なりのベストそれで正常に勝つぞ俺が入ったらまたガンガン打たすから覚悟しとけうん、uh, such awesome moments so much wholesome sauce normally I don't like covering my dish with it but here it tastes great 別にそんなことだって影山日向を打ちづらそうだったらすぐ<laughs> Literally fighting during the conversation. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's gold! That was absolutely sick, and I love how they even gave multiple frames to the hands being broken apart as the ball struck it. What a great moment in general, though, as they defeat his epic serves! Nice Animating the epic surf from another angle like a bunch of legends! Obviously, I can't show everything as it's made up of numerous comments on and off over a large period of time, and as Toho has made it clear, they'll take any opportunity to claim my content, even if I try to show as little as possible. But all the same, take one here for how the story was built between these two, working together, but each desperately wanting time on the court to play with their friends and teammates. Excellently done. <laughs> This over the top happy reaction to being told next time you can do so and so on the court. Bless his heart, just hearing that there'll be a next time made him react like that. <laughs> Seeing him punch through like this for the first time. That quick reaction, man! They kill comedy, I swear! I know it's been like five years since I watched this first season, but I'm still genuinely shocked by how much I forgot about this one's great sense of humor! I love it! <laughs> okay, okay. I know I can't keep doing it forever, but one more for that. It's like he fell into the high five. <laughs> this spike and their reactions take my win. それでも超えられない壁は常にあった。街道牛若を迎えて県内最強と言われるようになった白鳥沢学園中東部。Giving detailed backstory to a character on the other side of the court like this is one of the many, many things which make this a standout anime. Beautiful music on this bit as well. I really forgot just how great the music was in all honesty. <laughs> they actually did an awesome job of aging him between then and now. <laughs> Oh, 
This moment actually showing a darker side to him and to the anime in general makes his character deeper and more complicated as a result too, especially his face afterwards looking shocked at his actions. Also what I adore is how the conversation that happened after he was given a swift headbutt is what resulted in his new approach fully on display now, where it's all about bringing the very best out of the team. Absolute thing of beauty, how he now trusted him enough to allow himself to be pulled to the other side of the court to block there instead of going straight up as his instinct told him to. Take another one here for them winning the set, even though I knew they would too. Such a great feeling. This is just one of those sequences that is plain old great. This is not a drill! They did another different and equally epic looking angle on this serve! You know it's a small thing, but I also forgot about just how much some things revolve around Hinata. I think in my memory that happened around season 2 or 3, but no, it was prevalent throughout this second half and it's a great mechanic to drive his character growth as arguably the main character. How come it never gets old though? This anime is so good when it comes to constantly introducing elements of the game that most people wouldn't consider, much like what they're saying here about mental and physical fatigue during a long match. Again, I can't go showing everything, but take a win here for the turning up of the tension. They lost four points in incredibly quick succession, and it's brilliantly nerve-wracking as a result. Hey, Yamaguchi! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Nice Teammates like these. Oh. <laughs> go in first person like it's no big deal at all. Man oh man, that music in the build up, it almost reminds me of the same style as My Hero Season 1, it's beautiful! Also though, this consistent symbolism being used about catching up to them and now finally catching them. Credit here as well to animating all of these characters in the same scene. Never paid attention to it until now, I don't believe. On top of the outstanding attention to detail when Hinata falls to the ground, I mean that's stunningly great looking is how tight that was! I cannot express enough how I've seen it, yet it makes me so anxious! Another nice small detail is how they animate them looking physically exhausted. Sweat beads, heavy panting and less physical exertion. Just nice attention to detail. All I'm gonna say is, my jaw was literally open watching that whoosh past of mess. Goodness me how I'm enjoying this! Animating through a montage is always a win! Take a 
a win here in general for the music? Can't believe I said before it was mainly really lovely backing music. They've got some bangers in here, really fleshed out for multiple scenarios too. Have one here for rising the tension to near breakable levels in my heart, but also for then smashing it temporarily with some much needed comedy. I'm such a massive fan of quick motion passes and shots. They did about seven there in quick succession. A pain to animate, but doesn't half make it look like a legit game is being played furiously in front of us. I genuinely couldn't remember it happening that way. That was awful, I think, because I'd entirely forgot that it happened. Take that much required plot twist win. It was really nice to see that even the girls whose main goal at the start was to cheer for the other team and the guy they liked seriously gave such mad props to this team with nothing but respect and the same goes for the others in the crowd too. They're so good at tapping into emotion as that music filled with melancholy begins and we see the cold hard reality of their situation appear on Hinata's face as another team files in to play their next game and it becomes apparent that he now has to move away, no longer able to play. It's gut-wrenching, man. <laughs> Such a great voice actor he is, nicely animated too with that anger on his face, clearly feeling the loss was his fault. These words of wisdom from a character not exactly known for rousing speeches, but here he says exactly what they both need to hear. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, you're not weak. Yeah, let's go ahead and animate that with like 30 frames because we're legends. The fact that this food straight up looks delicious. It's food wars up in here. Oh, so many gorgeous frames for my eyes. <laughs> Yep, that got me. Between that soft piano and everything else, that was a beautiful moment. In fact, they can have a max two wins for that, drawing that emotion out of me. Outstanding. Actually taking the time to put real writing on this blackboard. Normally, it'd be scribbles. Also have one here for this demonstration of how most of them are still being affected by the loss and how that can very easily carry over into their normal lives. Very rare gorgeous looking scenery shot! It says a lot about him that he was willing to basically leave the team to the younger members here, thinking it would be better for them as a team, but I'm so glad that he quickly disabused him of that notion. I love these third year characters, couldn't be without them. 
俺は言った通り残る12年に出て行ってくださいって言われたらそん時考える大地と朝日がいなくてもな俺は昨日残るって言ったべよ俺は俺だってまだやりてえよお前らとまだバレーしてえ Oh, such a great moment. Plus, I never thought about how the dynamic is a really unique aspect to this anime in that there are third years like them, second years, and first years. It just allows for an as stated unique angle to be used when needed, like right here. How was it? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy it? No. I don't think my body is moving. The ball is not going to be moving. Using moments such as this to continue building the other characters outside of the main group. I love that because it shows real dedication to not miss out on other characters and how they're feeling. In fact, it's even better as we also get to witness a flashback from the adult's childhood days playing the game himself and how his experiences can reflect on this young man as he gives advice. Sensei, I'm not doing merit to the ballet. I'm not a regular member of the game. Talking about interesting dynamics, the fact that it also revolves around high school adds to the anime's story capabilities, such as this here, talking about the third years and how they might be jeopardizing their futures if they keep playing. Ridiculously good looking art style change! <laughs> it's amazing writing when the anime has us feeling sorry for him so soon after our team's loss. <laughs> for likely the final time, not running on the spot impressively. What can only be described as a bloody fantastic scene, in all honesty, as they belt out their sheer frustrations. I wind it in the first half, but take one here as well for how excellently detailed the reflections are. Everyone turning up is 50% of this wholesome win, but the other 50% is for the nice setup to season 2, that being everyone working hard to make it to the spring tournament. They do stuff like this so well! These two and how far along they've come since episode 1 is really nice to see as well. Goodness me, that final scene gets one all day long, son! Another win here for this ED going over essentially Hinata's entire journey and then it morphs into everyone's adventure through the season. Really put it into perspective how far he'd come along. Also one here for this final happy-go-lucky looking image of the entire team. Absolutely everyone in it, it's goofy, it's cheesy and it makes me unrealistically happy. And now a final win here for this season as a whole, filled to the brim with joyful moments, comedy, uplifting speeches, tension, emotion, and everything else you can imagine. For a sports anime, it's truly excellent at integrating elements that must be hard to squeeze in, I'd wager. I love this anime, I loved it since I first saw it, and similarly, I very much hope you enjoyed this video. The views will be terrible for some reason, but it was voted in by the patrons and I'm happy to cover it. I just hope you liked it, so please consider leaving a like and a comment if you did to help your boy out. Don't forget you can pick what I cover by pledging just $4 on my Patreon too, and of course I'll see you maybe one day in Season 2, or in whatever video you choose to watch next.
Nathan Byrne, Bird Without a Word, Tyler Warner, Ali 50, Kawada Takashiro, Ted L, Isael Caldera, Mr. Waffle 64, Kieran Robinson, Chris Harris, Jonas Schaal, Manolo Saucedo Munoz, Steelers, Matthew Blanchett, Kim Munt, Manuel Mireles, Conito, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Blitz Cloud, Aura Keeper, Keppa, Jeffa 6263, Magnus, Kevin Nauta, Brendan Creer, Kaj Vorzelman, Sean Graves, The Epic Commander, Galaxy Boss 22, Leaf Arn Hammer, Sentimento, Peyton 2000, Storm 970, Inakami and Water, Your Edvinson.